Hello. Hi. Darling. Do you know what you think about me? Venice Beach and I've just been delivered appropriately a Vanderhall Venice. But if you follow me on Instagram at Sevdalini, you know exactly what this car is because I've been talking about it a bunch. Now it may look like, I hope you can hear me first of all as well, but it may look like I am freezing, but I'm actually overheating a bit. I put way too many jackets on. It is colder than I thought in LA, but not cold enough to, chat, to warrant this many jackets. I've got my heated seats on, got my heating on, which is actually quite effective. It's designed in a way that it kind of keeps the bottom half of your body quite warm. Obviously, there's a bit of wind against your face, but nothing you can't deal with, but it does just feel like I'm living the Californian dream right now. I can't put it because it'll get copyrighted, but I've got the music on. Guys, it just feels so surreal to be here, and I'm excited to share the next few days with you, and I'm so pumped to be able to have this car to cruise around in Monaco. Right, I've parked the car up, and then we've got Edmund, you'll meet him in a second. We've got his car there, which you've maybe seen on YouTube before, which is an absolute nutcase. We're about to go film with that, but we're at Avant Garde Exotics here, and there's some very, very cool stuff. We've got an Aventador, we've got a Merche Lago. How are you doing? All good? Yeah, this is awesome. I'm like geeking out big time on these cars. Yeah, the jump over your car. Oh, is that what we're gonna yeah. do? Oh, that's gonna be pretty impressive. It doesn't, like on camera, you wouldn't be able to tell, but that's actually quite a feat. Like if you he manages to do that. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No way, we're all good, we're all good. <laughs> we got a Merche Lago, we got a Radical, and a GT3 here as well. Well, and a bunch more stuff inside, but we're about to go, and as you can tell, it's gonna be pretty nice. This thing is crazy! Look at it! If you're wondering, this is how you fill it up. It's round back, so there's the rear wheel. You fill it up right there. And it's only about $25 to fill it. Right, you lads, uh, I find myself in odd situations, right? So I've got the Vanderhoek here, and then we have a Porsche, obviously, and we're gonna have a sprinter, and there's gonna be a race, man versus car, on, I think it's over like 30 feet or 50 feet, they're doing it on this road. I mean, I have no idea what's going on. I've, there's literally no purpose to me being here, apart from, you know, documenting it for you guys. It's gonna be on their channels. Their channels will be down below. So yeah, I mean, oh, also, they've bet $10,000. What's the day today? Hello. Ten thousand dollars each on this run. So, oh, there we go. Warming up. Looking good. There we go. I don't know. Put your put your bets down below. Who you think's gonna win? But um, yeah, ten thousand dollars on the line. I'm just here to spectate. Yay! Glad I haven't got ten thousand dollars on the line. That just wouldn't happen, first of all. So you're gonna jump over this car, right? You feel like you can do it easy? All right. Let, well, let's see. We're gonna find out. Wait. All right. So so far, I owe you five Gs. If I jump over the car, we're even. Okay, even. Yep, yep, I can confirm he's quick. In the meantime, I've kind of been placed as the finishing line. So this is the finishing line right here. So if I move, I kind of mess the whole thing up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. This has been very, very nice, but I'm not allowed to cross the road anymore because apparently it's illegal jaywalking, so that's a bit of an issue. I'm just gonna move in here, make myself comfortable. Anyways, don't know what's going on. Parked up right next to a very, very nice hat and black. All right, this thing's gorgeous. Right, let's go in. While the others have their dessert, I thought I'd come here to give you a little bit of a walk around of Edmund's TT3 RS, it's called. <laughs> getting some revs from the truck over there. I believe about to drive this car, which is going to be mental. I'll talk to you about the engine and everything he's done as far as that's concerned once we're driving the car. But first of all, I just wanted to show you a bit the exterior and this insane body kit. One off, this car's a complete one off. It was developed by Edmund and some guys here and they're potentially going to be able to make it available to other people later on. But for now, this is a one off. Now it's obviously looks very dramatic as well with the wrap that it's got on it. So this is like pink, yellow, green wrap and it's kind of in an Alec Monopoly modern 
an art style. Really looks quite cool. Probably also wondering why is there a massive face on the bonnet? And you're also, if you know who that is, probably wondering why the hell is David Dobrik on the front of this car? Effectively, Edmund made a video with the car and he put David Dobrik and the entire vlog squad kind of all around, scattered around the car on stickers, which is quite a cool design. But yeah, I mean, it, this thing looks just insane. And it's based on a 991.2 GT3 RS. So a car that's actually been going up in value quite a bit because they're just quite hard to get your hands on. So to be going there and doing this, you'll see they've had to cut through the body panels and things like that. It's a pretty bold move. So, I mean, we've got, look, the first area where it's cut. Yeah cut open to be able to have this tow hook which is obviously very race car inspired that's also been wrapped i mean the details are quite cool now you've got a huge front splitter which is held up by these sort of metallic struts right here and they've had to cut through the grills to do that and put this splitter which is quite bendy and probably quite easily replaceable and so it doesn't matter too much if it scratches scratches sorry but obviously the car is ridiculously low so it's still got a lift system but it is very very low and then we've got look these canards which are actually screwed into the car down there so that's a i mean that's a commitment so that's the whole front bumper sort of redone there so that's an interesting look in the front i really like it we've got huge side skirts there to make the car look a bit beefy from the exterior. so you don't usually notice side skirts that much on a car you know it doesn't stand out to you but then if we were to take them away it would just change the aggressiveness of the car then you come back to obviously it's got the carbon fiber wing mirrors and this rear end which is probably the most distinct look of this car that's probably the most distinctive and famous angle of it because it gets mental i mean obviously you got the whole vlog squad there but then you've got this carbon double wing look at that see it's a bit of, it's, it's kind of divided in two full carbon inspired by the uh the race going versions of the the, the 911 looks just so beastly and it is massive and the only wing i've kind of seen on of this size on another car is maybe on a senna something like that but uh, yeah it is i mean it's aggressive and then obviously this rear bumper diffuser the whole kind of rear section that's been completely removed and redone by these guys so you can see the massive rear tires as well but it is so sick the way they've done this with these struts like at the front and then they've even added paint back there on the new twin turbo system now we'll talk about that when i'm in the car but yeah it is just crazy huge diffuser obviously straight pipe exhaust it's insane i mean the way they've done this you got the plate to go with it it's beautiful and ttrs that is a hint towards what we're going to experience when we're in the car which is yeah going to be insane i think the rims are standard actually i mean this little green strip right there is standard and then the michelin signs are standard no sorry those are added afterwards um by edmund now inside it's actually pretty stock so we've got look alcantara leather carbon it's got the visek package this one which you can tell by the seats there and that little plaque right there and carbon fiber all over the interior around the steering wheel yeah just carbon all over the place obviously got the bucket seats with the harness and then it's got now you may if you're watching this from europe you'd be like well of course it's got the roll cage but in the states usually they don't come with a roll cage so it's cool to be able to see one with a roll cage here nice little addition especially because it's done to complement the wrap on the exterior so really really cool the way they've done this and i am just excited to experience it hear it yeah i'm pumped because this is one of the uh, one of the crazier cars we've had on the channel okay right Seatbelt on. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like scared of this car. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're in traffic now, and I think I'm gonna walk you through the stats because once we get going, I'm, I'm gonna be like a, yeah, a little bit overwhelmed, I reckon. But it is uh, 800 wheel horsepower. So 800 to the wheels, which is nuts, because normally the GT3 RS stock produces 550 horsepower. So you got, yeah, a lot more power, 250 extra horsepower in a GT3 RS with the full aero kit. And even little things like I just noticed now, the paddles are in carbon, which I think is an aftermarket detail. It feels like a beast and you can hear the turbos behind you and you just know you're in something special. This is, as far as we know, the only twin turbo GT3 RS in the world. Oh. oh my god Jesus Christ that is not normal
Bono, and it's going to be a great car to drive on canyons, I imagine. I mean, a scary, terrifying car to drive on canyons, but when you get it right, it must be a, a special experience. Oh, it's addictive.